Hey, space fans, it's Tarek Malik, editor in chief of space.com. And on this week in space, we talked all about a weird rock that the Perseverance rover has found. And it might just look like a hat. Tune in and find out. Uh, helmets on Mars. Because <laughs> like we love story. us some helmets on Mars. So, a kind of weird hat like rock formation has been spotted and images taken by the Perseverance rover. It uh, has a pointed peak and nodular texture, not, not unlike medieval armor or maybe the wishing hat from Harry Potter. Uh, the lumps appear <laughs> to be water there isn't, Okay, oh, you got to stop. We got to stop. What? There is not a wishing hat in Harry Potter. I, yeah, I was it is, to, I it it is the sorting hat. It is the oh. way you, you put the hat on and it sorts you into your, your, your house at, at Hogwarts. Okay. Right? <laughs> and it didn't look way, like calling, this anyway, but it's calling all Calling this rock remember. a hat is extremely generous. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but it is so. weird. It's so, weird looking for sure. They they think geologists think that the lumps are water caused caused spherules like we saw on the uh, Mars exploration rover missions where we saw these little concretions that were um, the blueberries magnetite the, magnetite. Yeah. I thought they were hematite. Hematite, thank you, yeah. which is formed in the presence of water. Um, so this looks like you know the the artifact from some standing body of water, but it is weird. Now. We've seen a lot of weird, weird rocks on Mars, and they have been interpreted as everything from heavy artillery to, I kid you not, Bigfoot, um, <laughs> doors, uh, lizards, you know, spiders, lizards, bunnies. You know anything? Oh, the well, the bunny was the actually, bunny was like a piece of parachute material. I that think, was right, a, a piece of insulation. Yeah. yeah, but but nonetheless, you know, people see this stuff, and of course, it's it's a natural human trait uh, to interpret them as something familiar. <laughs> and uh, as I've gone on about way too long in the past, when I was up on Devon Island at Pascal Lee's base up there where there are no human artifacts except for the tents we were living in, you do, you know, your, your brain starts getting hungry for seeing things that are familiar. But the people seeing this aren't on Mars. They're on Earth sitting in their living rooms, their Paris basements or wherever, and they're saying, look, something NASA's keeping a secret. What's going on? I want truth and clarity. So... Um, you know, it's not a hat. It's a really weird looking rock, but, um, you know, I guess it'll hopefully get a little closer and find more of theirs. Yeah. And there's our, our graphic up there that shows its very vague resemblance <laughs> to, uh, to a medieval battle helmet. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what it actually does remind me of. It's like well, somebody but took a bunch of uh, tissue paper, soaked it in oatmeal, and stuck their fist in it or something. It reminds me of a Horta. Remember the Hortas from Star Trek? No, it's like kill a I. Yeah. Pain. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giving away my age here. Yeah. I had a screensaver that had a hoarder that would eat holes into your screen. Uh, it was a Star Trek. That uh, was almost as good as the Barney Blaster screen, yeah. <laughs> screensaver I had, where you got they had a shotgun and you could shoot Barney over and over. I still, I still have that Star Trek screensaver. I paid seven dollars for it, and it was on f floppy disk. So <laughs> that's, how, that's how old it was. <laughs> so. John Ashley has a very strange look on his face. I think <laughs> no, the I'm, just, I, I, I'm it, looking John. at the Horta. I was like, oh, that's well, the yeah. Horta? We should we we should mention that Hortas are like they're silicone based rock creatures that lived inside caves on an alien planet uh, in in the original series, and they were like lumps of, or, of living rock. So, or it was a stunt man under a carpet covered with latex, which is what it actually <laughs> was, crawling back and forth. And apparently William Shatner, who was a practical joker back in the day, especially in the 60s, uh, when Spock had to do his pain, pain scene where he touches the Horda and channels his pain, there it is, looking yeah. like a bucket of snot on the... This uh, looks exactly like this rock, man, I tell you. Life on Mars. Sure thing. Confirmed. So, so anyway, as I was saying, so Shatner was up in the rafters. They had cleared the stage. Uh, this is the way the story goes anyway, because Nimoy, you know, didn't want a bunch of chuckling while he's doing it. And just as he was about to do the line, Shatner up in the rafters goes, pain, pain, as only William <laughs> Shatner can. And uh, apparently Nimoy was not thrilled by that. Or I, He was either up in the rafters or riding his bicycle. He loved to ride bicycles on stage, riding his bicycle. Anyway, not really a story worth spending a lot of time on. But um, uh, yeah, I think, I, I mean, the, the moment we're waiting for, and this was told to me by none other than the chief scientist on the Curiosity mission, John Grassinger, he said, look, it's fun to look at this stuff. It's fun to come to your to conclusions. We welcome any publicity we can get, but we're all waiting for that fe that dinosaur femur moment. Yeah, because what happens to space budgets if you discover a big fossilized bone up on Mars? 
Now, in the current administration, I don't know what would happen. We'd probably, you know, have to figure out how to name it after somebody. But in general terms, suddenly you get a bunch of money and maybe even astronauts up there. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's find more. Well, can I like, what if, 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 if instead of an astronaut or an astronaut, a dinosaur bone, right? A Mars, a sore or whatever. Yeah. They found like a, a tuft of grass, like just like growing. Maybe it's like red grass or whatever because of the How iron. How about a rose, a red, red rose? Like they, they found like so, with the little prince on his little asteroid. <laughs> So, no. Um, what, what did you put in your coffee this morning? No, in your like case if they found choice? if they found that, like, would it have the same effect? I mean, for us, it would, right? It's life on another planet. Yeah, we'd all be freaking out. But would well, would know, there be a race to go get that 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 grass? Would people really freak out? Back on uh, April's Fool's Day, and I think 1993, America Online, which was at that time the premier online service. Uh, posted a story saying life found in atmosphere of Jupiter. And I was over the moon. I was elated. I was 23 skidoo. I was like, oh my God, it finally happened. They finally did it. And I thought, wait a minute, it's April 1st. Oh. And sure enough, the next day they said April Fool's joke. That was and a I Galileo. wrote one of my very Reference. rare angry letters to <laughs> Steve Case saying that was not cool. But, you know, there was very little public reaction. And at that yeah. point, they were like a major news source for people. Yeah. So, by the way, RAP America Online uh, dial-up connection—they shut the doors on it uh, this <gasps> month. That's the end of it. No. Yeah. yeah. And, and actually, you know, a lot of us kind of went snicker snicker, but I guess there was still a number of rural people—not a number, a bunch of rural people still using yeah. it because they Something don't have like access point, to do so. Point one percent, zero point one percent of internet users like relied on that service. So hopefully, they'll be able to find some other way to to get uh, access to get whatever information they need. And like PacBell space. took away my landline, <laughs> oh, no. which I didn't really want, but a couple of radio stations I work with used to insist on you having a landline, uh, primarily coast to coast AM. There's a the show. And, um, you know, I called PacBell and I said, look, I could see the wires going from my house to the pole. They said, yep, too bad, not doing it. 